Let's look at one more example of using the addition and uh, difference formulas for sine and cosine. Um, so with this setup, let's find cosine of uh, alpha plus beta and sine of alpha plus beta. Um, now, everything we know about alpha and beta is coming from these diagrams. Um, so uh, in particular, we, we aren't going to be able to actually, well, we could get approximations for alpha and beta, but we aren't going to be able to find alpha and beta exactly. Um, but, you know, since we have the addition formulas for sine and cosine, we don't need to actually know the angles since we know, right, these, these sides in these diagrams. So just taking cosine for an example, cosine of alpha plus beta, you know, using the addition formula for sine, or for cosine rather, it's cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, uh, minus sine of alpha, sine of beta. And some of these we already, some of these we can read directly off of these diagrams. Um, but, you know, for both of these, for both of these diagrams, since we know two sides in these right triangles, we can find the third side. And once you know three sides in, in these right triangles, you can find any trig function that you want. So let's just find the third side. So over here, um, we know this is going to turn out to be negative since this angle is in quadrant two. And using the Pythagorean theorem, you're going to get Let's see, it looks like six squared minus four squared. So that's, let's see, 36 minus uh, 16 is 20. So minus root 20, so minus two root five for the uh, bottom side here. And then in our diagram for beta, this right uh, left hand side is, let's see, it, again, it's gonna be negative because we're in quadrant three. Uh, square root of 7 squared, 49, minus negative 6 squared, so that's 36. So that's going to be, looks like 13. So minus square root 13. And now that we know all these sides, we can just write down what, uh, what each of these is. So cosine of alpha, so up in our alpha diagram, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So negative 2 root 5 over six. Cosine beta, that's negative six over seven. Sine alpha, that's four over six, so that's two thirds. And sine beta is going to be minus root 13 over seven. And then we can simplify this a little bit. I mean, not a ton, but um, a little is better than nothing. <laughs> So uh, we can, let's see, simplify this fraction. And then actually, we could simplify, simplify the 3 and the 6, but I don't want to because I want to keep these over a common denominator so I can put these fractions together. So this is, let's see, negative times negative is positive. So it looks like 6 root 5 minus, but it's minus and then another negative, so plus 2 root 13, and then the denominator is 3 times 7, 21. So there's cosine of alpha plus beta. For sine of alpha plus beta, of course, it's going to be pretty similar. Uh, so using the addition formula for sine, that's sine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha sine of beta. Uh, so sine of alpha was 2 thirds. Cosine of beta was minus 6 over 7. Cosine of alpha was minus root 5 over 3. So yeah, I've simplified the fraction already. And then sine beta was minus root 13 over 7. And then we can simplify this. So it looks like we're going to get negative 12 from this piece uh, plus, 
And then root 5 times root 13, that's root 65 over 21. And there we go. We found cosine and sine of alpha plus beta.